Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life, live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and put on your seatbelt because it's one hell of a ride. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm here today to cook with you. We're going to be making lemon butter cream sauce. It's actually a lemon butter cream pasta. And I'm also adding broccoli and shrimp. So, if you haven't seen our mukbang from yesterday, the Dungeness Crab Seafood Boil, um, check it out because we eat this pasta in that and I also give the ingredients for that. So hopefully you guys already have your ingredients and you're ready to cook. Alright, so let's get into the video. Okay guys, I'm back. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one stick of butter to my pan and um, I already have it at about medium medium heat and I'm going to saute my onion and garlic in this for a, a few minutes until you know they get a little tender. Okay guys, so my onion and garlic have been sauteing for about three to four minutes. So now they're pretty tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the wine. Okay, so I'm adding some wine. Just to let you guys know, I don't really cook with uh, measurements unless I'm using a specific um, recipe. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and show you what I do, and I'm gonna put approximate measurements in the description, or maybe somewhere in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna let the, the wine reduce for maybe another five minutes. Okay, so now my wine has reduced and I'm gonna go ahead and add, this is a juice of about three lemons. I'm going to add about half of that because I don't want it to be too lemony but I wanna have enough in case I, it's not enough in there. Okay, so right now you guys, you wanna start taste testing the sauce to your taste. So I like mine a little more buttery than lemony even though I do like a lot of tang. Tastes pretty good. So now I'm going to add my heavy cream. Again, this is depends on how creamy you guys want it. Sometimes I don't even put cream. If I just want a lemon butter sauce, I don't even add cream. Okay, so again, we're going to taste. Tastes good. I think I want a little bit more cream. Okay, so this is this is 16 ounces, and I've probably used about half of this so far, you guys. Now I'm gonna add some salt, you guys. This is gonna be to your taste. Everybody likes a different salt level, so I always use the pink Himalayan salt. I really like the salt. Um, I have about a maybe a fourth a teaspoon right now. Let's see how it tastes, though. At this point, you want to turn your your fire down to about to a medium low. And then as, as it cooks, it's going to thicken. Mm -hmm. I think I want a little bit more salt. Okay, and now I'm going to add the rest of my dry seasonings. I have parsley, garlic powder, oregano, and pepper. Okay. Woo! It's about to be good now. Okay, we're back, guys. So now I'm going to add my shrimp. Some really nice size shrimp here. I'm gonna add that to a boil. We're just gonna boil them for a few minutes. You don't want to even cook them all the way through because you're gonna cook it a little bit more in the sauce. And I have just a little bit of lemon juice and a pinch of salt in my boil because I'm not using that to um, flavor or season the the uh, shrimp. The the sauce itself is gonna be the main seasoning for this. I have about a pound and a half of shrimp here. Now we're going, that shit only boils. Look, it's already getting pink. You see that, you guys? It doesn't take very long. It's gonna only do, only keep it in there for a couple minutes. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and now add my Parmesan cheese. This is about a third of a cup. That's gonna thicken your sauce up a lot. So, look, I'm not even adding the whole whole amount in there yet because I want to see see what's going on first. Okay, this is how you cook with no recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my cheese. 
because it doesn't taste super cheesy and the hot can use a little bit more thickening. So, that works. Mmm, yummy, yummy. You guys can also saute the shrimp if you want to, which is what I do a lot, but I kind of have been liking the tenderness of a boiled shrimp more lately, so I'm gonna try it with the boiled shrimp. If you like to have like a brown nice crunch to your shrimp, you definitely want to saute them in like a butter or some butter and um, onion or something like that. Make sure you stir this sauce because the cheese will start sticking to the bottom. You definitely don't want that. Okay guys, so I've already boiled my pasta to an al dente state and I, I also steamed some broccoli. You don't want to steam this too much because it's going to cook like just like the shrimp is going to cook a little bit more. Okay guys, I'm back. My dry ingredients have been cooking with the sauce for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add my broccoli and also my shrimp. Now you can do chicken, you can do any other kind of vegetable. Sometimes we do spinach or um, asparagus. What else do we use? Um, Zucchini. Yeah. Squash. Yeah. Whatever whatever vegetable you in the mood for. Bok choy. You can use that. You can use any kind of meat. Yummy, yummy. It looks delicious. I'm going to let the shrimp and the broccoli warm up a little bit. And then I'm just going to pour that over some pasta. So I'll show you the end result when I come back. Alright guys, so I'm all done. I've plated my pasta and here you go. Here's the final product. Hope you guys enjoy. 